Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about tyres. So in this video I'm going to share with you the tyres that I have tested for bicycle touring. I've got a couple right here around my neck and I'm currently rocking some newer tyres that I'm currently testing out at the moment. And I'm also going to let you know about one more tyre that I am wanting to test out as well. So let's start with these stinkers. So this one here is the Swalby Range Cruiser. Now this is more of a thinner tire, as you can see, but it has tread, which is pretty cool. So I was using this on my Surly back here. So this tire is mainly for road touring with the slight off-roading, like the very slightest gravel riding, you know? And this tire seemed to hold up pretty well for me. I believe, uh, how wide is it? 35C this one is, so 735C tire, um, not the widest. I did cover quite a lot of thousands of kilometers on this, and uh, as you can see, it's worn, for sure, as expected, but I found the one on the back, when I had one on the back, uh, it wore a lot more because there was obviously a lot more weight because I had panniers on the bike. Um, and I did end up getting quite a lot of punctures as it wore down. Um, and then I changed to this tire. It wasn't really planned, but again, it's Swalby. I really like Swalby brand tires. They're really cool. Um, but again, this one is the Swalby GT, is it 365? Yep, I think so. So this was kind of like a tire that I just had to get because they didn't have any of the Swalby range cruisers at this bike shop when my rear tire wore down. So I was using this one as a rear while I used the Swalby range cruiser as a front tire. And as you can see, this one has a bit more tread, which is nice. And I kind of like this tire. It was really good because I ended up doing quite a lot of forest riding, like out in the wilderness on gravel roads and things like that, just off the beaten path kind of stuff. The, and this tire seemed to hold up pretty well, but I believe with this tire I got the nastiest puncture. Yes, yeah, so I think that might be the hole right there. Anyway, I got this like a barbed wire went straight through, it was about that long went straight through the tire. There was no way it was going to survive that. You know, like that's a pretty good tire as well. And there's also one more tire that I want to test out that I haven't got to doing yet, and that is the Swalby Marathon Plus. It's a much wider tire. I think they run as wide as 45C, which is the same width as these tires here behind me that I'm going to show you. And they're more suited to touring, so they've got like, they're kind of like this tire, but just a lot fatter and they're suited to road touring, and apparently like indestructible, so. But over to the setup right here on my bed is this tire right here. So this tire is called the WTB Riddler 700 by 45C. It's kind of like a gravel tire, to be honest. As you can see, it's got chunky tread. Uh, the tread on the outside is bigger, and then as it goes to the middle, it gets a little thinner, which I found helps with rolling resistance and it doesn't, you know, it's not sluggish, but I'm sort of changing my setup into more of a bike packing setup. So these tires are great for that sort of riding. I probably wouldn't recommend it if you're just gonna be touring on the road with these. You'd probably need something like a, you know, a Swalby Range Cruiser like this one here. But yeah, guys, but that's it for my tire recommendations. There'll be links down below if you want to check out any of the tires that I've just mentioned in this video. Thank you for watching.